हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू स्टडी विथ आर के येस आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अनदर गेस्ट लेक्चर सेशन यू ऑलरेडी हैव गॉट द आइडिया बाय सीन द टाइटल ऑफ द टॉपिक विच इज एपीकल्चर एपीकल्चर और बी कीपिंग नाव यू मस्ट बी ऑलरेडी नोइंग सम ऑफ द बेजिक अबाउट एपीकल्चर बट let us learn today something in detail so the contents of our today's topic will be something like this we will study introduction about apiculture there are different species which are used for apiculture or bee keeping different type of bees okay which are used for apiculture then there is social organization of bees life cycle of bee development method of apiculture and at last products which will be our final product which we will get after the complete process now what do you mean by apiculture see apiculture the main and the whole aim of the apiculture is production of honey but there are many other things which are also provided including with honey it is the maintenance of honey bee colonies by humans to collect products like honey beeswax and also there is one thing which i have not added here but i'll show you at last which is propylis okay now what is propylis that i will explain you at last apiculture is also known as bee keeping many of honey bee species are observed around the world see there are many species but all the species are not domesticated okay that also we will learn in the further slide some of the species are domesticated and cultured in apiculture there are some kind of honey bees which are domesticated and they are cultured okay so this is the whole introduction about apiculture a kind of systematic position kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta where all the insects are included order hymenoptera family apidae and genus apis yes the basic morphology of honey bee is shown here you can see all the basic parts of honey bee compound eye head thorax four wings abdominal region spiracle then sting from where honey bee stings okay it is you can see at last a small uh, thorn kind of sting is visible then hind legs middle leg fore leg also there is jaw upper lip lower lip and of course antenna this is the first species of honey bee apis dorsata the giant honey bee it is largest it builds large open comb on high branches of trees and rocks it is the largest okay among all the other species of honey bee and also due to its large size it produces large quantity of honey but due to the size also this species is a kind of dangerous and so it is not easy to domesticate it this is not used okay for apiculture purpose next is apis serrana indica indian honey bee or asian honey bee it is middle in size or medium sized it have uh, its hive consist of several parallel combs in cavities of tree trunks eastern pots etc see you must have seen honey bee hive on the top of the trees also on the trunk of the trees on eastern pots and somewhere on the walls okay at height you must have seen this kind of hive which is naturally built by honey bee this bee is not so furious and not so dangerous like the previous one apis dorsata and so it is easy to domesticate this is used for apiculture purpose next is apis floria dwarf honey bee or the little bee 
Do you know the meaning of dwarf? Dwarf are those who are little in size. Okay. So it is small in size. It builds only single comb in bushes, hedges of trees, etc. Due to its poor size or little size, honey yield is also poor. Due to poor yield of honey, this also is not used in apicultural purpose because it is not giving good quantity of honey. Yes, this is Apis mellifera which is this western or European honeybee. See now this bee is introduced all around the world including India. It is not so furious, it can easily be domesticated and this bee is mostly used around the world for apiculture purpose. Hope you have got the idea about four different species. Which were those four species which you studied? Apis dorsata, then Apis serana indica, then Apis floria and at last Apis mellifera. Okay. See, I have kept here the photograph which shows all the different species. Can you see the difference? If not, take a pause for 2 minutes and observe the difference. First one is Apis serana, then Apis mellifera and Apis dorsata. You can see here that Apis dorsata is the largest one among others. Now, you already know that Honeybee is a kind of social animal, like humans, right? They are social in that there are different kind of caste which are observed. The first and the important is queen. Yes, there is a queen bee present in the hive. Here the bee says that I am a queen. If you will see the picture over here, you will find that the queen is largest in size among different bees that is the difference and with this you can easily identify the queen okay the bee which will be queen will be largest in size with wider abdominal region royal jelly isn't what makes queen bee a queen bee but it's the figure okay it's the body size by which you will easily recognize the queen Yes, like I said, they are two and social animals like humans. You can see three different caste of honeybees over here. The main and the important is queen. Okay, now see. Queen bee is the only fertile female in the colony. Okay, queen will be only one which will be able to lay eggs. She will be the largest in size, but there are no wax glands present in queen bee. Queen lives for 3 to 4 years and also during this period, queen bee lay eggs at a rate of 1500 to 2000 approx eggs per day. Can you imagine that? 1500 to 2000 eggs per day. Oh my god, that's the number is too large. Okay, next is drone. Drone are the only male member of the colony. Okay, drones can live up to 60 days, which is approx for two months. Sting and wax gland are again absent, totally not found in drones. The first one is drone, develops from unfertilized egg. Okay, drone B are developed from unfertilized egg. And the only duty or the sole duty of drone is to fertilize the virgin bee. Okay, drone uh, bee does only one work. It only does mating with the queen bee, nothing else. Okay, and it lives for approx 60 days. Fine. Next is worker bee, very very important caste, have well developed sting and hind legs have pollen basket. Pollen basket are present in the hind leg of worker bee and it is generally for collection of pollen. So whenever any of the honey bee stings you, it will always be a worker bee. They perform all the duties in the hive, whether it is cleaning, whether it is feeding to the larvas, whether it is building the hive, construction of the hive, 
ओके ऑल दिस कलेक्टिंग नेक्टर कलेक्टिंग पोलन ईच एंड एवरी ड्यूटीज ऑफ द हाइव इज परफॉर्म्ड बाय वर्कर बी नाउ ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट वर्कर बी डे वन टू फोर्टीन ओके वेन द वर्कर बी इज अंडर डेवलपमेंट on the first day till 14th day the activity which worker b does is of cleaning of the hive and feeding the larvae from 14th to 20th day worker b guards the entrance of the hive okay it does gardening of the hive so that ke uh, any of the predator doesn't easily enters the hive now from day 21st to day 35 it does foraging what is foraging i already said it is collecting the nectar and pollen from surrounding areas so this is the hive and the bee cast yes now let's begin towards the life cycle you can see from the photograph queen lay eggs in the wax cells worker feeds the hatched larva larva reaches through the full growth worker seals cell larva becomes a pupa and ultimately the adult bee which will be developed from the pupa will leave the cell the 7 days old virgin queen go out from the hive along with some drones for mating okay let me now tell you the development how it is developed okay so let us now move on towards development the 7 days old virgin queen goes out of the hive along with some drones for mating now this kind of flight which is done by queen and the drones is known as nuptial or marriage flight only one drone mate with the queen okay and during this the queen will store spermatophore in her spermatica there is the organ inside the body of the queen which is known as spermatica in which queen stores the spermatophore which are actually released by drone mating takes place while flying and after mating drone immediately dies and queen returns to the hive the queen has ability to control the release of the sperm from her spermatica or sperm store here it is said that the queen is capable enough to control how much sperms at a time to release from spermatica or her sperm store hope you have understood the development now there are several methods of beekeeping nowadays there are modern techniques which are used for bee keeping there are some traditional techniques too here there is uh, this is the picture of movable hive which is the modern method you can see there are wooden boxes which are arranged in comprises of wooden boxes or earthen pitchers okay which are movable different different cast are kept in different different boxes and further the process is being carried out here another picture is given which shows the complete figure of the movable hive there is outer cover there is inner cover there is honey supers there is queen excluder where queens are kept there is deep super bottom board and at last stand the modern bee hive were designed on the base of bee space theory by l l langstroth in 1851 this is the extra information which i am trying to give here there are many different types of hives which are used there is already i told you there is a stand which is of course for support there is bottom board okay it forms proper base for the hive which is actually an entrance for the bees there is brood chamber used for rearing purpose and raising purpose there is a queen excluder then super it is provided with many frames which are containing comb foundation to provide additional space there is inner cover it is bound with x as a partition inner cover generally acts as a partition and there is a top cover top lid or roof you can also say it 
नेक्स्ट इज ट्रेडिशनल मैथड इन ट्रेडिशनल मैथड द हाइव और द हनी कोम्ब आर प्लेस्ड नेचुरली इन वन पर्टिक्युलर प्लेस एंड इट इज फिक्सड देर इट इज नॉट मूवेबल ओके यू हैव टू फिक्स द हाइव एट सम ऑफ द प्लेस वेर यू विल फाइंड द बीज विल कम द मोस्ट ओके यू हैव टू सर्च दैट प्लेस यू हैव टू बिल्ड हनी कोम्ब हाइव आर्टिफिशियली एंड यू हैव टू फिक्स इट also there is one traditional method in which people go towards the natural hive and they collect the nectar this is also one of the traditional method which is used and there are some other equipments too but we don't want to go in that detail for now you just keep in mind there are two methods movable hive or modern method and fixed hive or traditional method this is the ultimate for which we are doing all this hard work okay the product the ultimate product and the important product is honey we produce honey from the nectar of plants through enzymatic activity and water evaporation and many other processes that you already know and honey is used in food because it has many nutritional value it is rich in energy and vitamins too also honey is used in many of the medicines you know there are many cough syrups with honey available in the market so it prevents cold cough and fever also next is bees wax so bee wax is secreted by the wax glands which are located on the underside of last four abdominal segments of the bee bee wax are used for making candles in some of the creams lotions girls around there at bees wax is also used for building lipsticks it is also used in the formation of artificial honeycomb or apiaries okay for apiculture purpose those who are using traditional technique as i said they build artificial hive so for building artificial hive this kind of bees wax is used and yes there is the third thing which i told you during the starting of our session there is propolis what is this propolis propolis is a kind of resinous mixture that honey bee produces by mixing its saliva and bee wax okay how propolis is made it is made by the mixture of honey bee saliva and bees wax where it is used it is used to cough or you know treatment of the cough and throat irritation it is also used in some of the other processes you can take it orally in the form of syrup or drops also there is a kind of royal jelly which is produced from this royal jelly is used in the treatment of diabetes osteoporosis in the creams which are used for healing wounds it is also used for a kind of oral tablets or syrups which are used for boosting immunity so these are the products which are used in apiculture thank you so much for giving your time and hearing this session completely this is the important session for many of the competitive exams hope that you have enjoyed it if yes do like share and subscribe study with rk and have a beautiful day thank you